Hey everybody, Justin Cena here. I've got this video to show you the proper way to install your Facebook Pixel inside of your ClickFunnels e-commerce funnel. And I'm gonna be showing you my 100% free funnel. You can download it anytime, you see the link on your screen, one.justincener.com, one.justincener.com. You can get this exact funnel that I'm showing you here totally free and just add it directly to your ClickFunnels account. So uh, first of all, Facebook Pixel, we need to have this installed on all the pages. And if you're coming over from Shopify, um, it's not gonna be as direct as just installing and copy and pasting the Pixel ID into the settings. There's gonna be a couple extra steps that uh, we're gonna need to do. And this is a two-step checkout with an upsell. And we're gonna be able to add the Pixel to each of the different pages, obviously also the confirmation page. And you're gonna see exactly how to do it. It's super easy. We're gonna have to look at a little bit of code, but there's nothing to be overwhelmed by. We're literally just gonna copy and paste different snippets of code that Facebook provides into different settings. So let's go ahead and take a look at the exact placements. And first let's go ahead and take a look at where to get the pixel. So I have a brand new ads account here. You have to go into your Facebook ads account, go to business.facebook.com if you don't have one. Once you open up your ads account, you come over here to the big menu on top and you click pixels. Okay, if this is the first time that you're doing this, you're not gonna have a pixel. You're gonna come over here and you're gonna have a button that actually allows you to go and create your first pixel. You see this big green button. You go ahead and create the pixel. You can name it whatever you want doesn't really matter. You could skip the website URL. That doesn't matter either. You just want to create the pixel. It's going to say it's created now. If you've already created your pixel, you're just going to basically have this section that's behind this little box. So um, either create your pixel for the first time or go to your pixels page. Okay. Once you're at your pixel page, you want to go and, and click manually install the pixel yourself. Okay. This, these, you know, connect a partner program or email instructions to a developer. You don't need to worry about that. We just want to get the code so we can go ahead and install it. And when you click on this install pixel thing, we, what we wanna do is copy the pixel base code, okay? This is the actual JavaScript. If you take a look at this, it has your Facebook pixel ID in it. It has a, a tracking ID just in case there's no script. You don't have to worry about any of this. All you need to know is this is your Facebook base code, your Facebook pixel base code. You're gonna copy this. This needs to live on every single page of your site, okay? So it's gonna uh, be on the landing page. It's gonna be on an opt-in page. It's gonna be on the checkout page. It's gonna be on an upsell page. It's gonna be on a confirmation page, downsell page, any of those pages. You want this pixel code to be there. Okay, so we copied it from Facebook. Okay, you're gonna copy it. Then we're gonna come back over to our actual funnel and now we're gonna go and edit it on the back end. Okay, so I've got my free funnel, the one.justincener funnel right over here. And again, you can get it over here, one.justincener.com, totally free. And I've got it open over here and now we're gonna go and click edit page. And I'm gonna show you kind of just what's inside the funnel and, and uh, kind of talk about what page this is. And obviously this is the landing page for an e-commerce funnel, right? I, I use a two-step funnel here with an upsell. This is fully done on ClickFunnels. It can work with any type of e-commerce product. And just like your Shopify store, you need to have your Facebook pixel on this page, right? If I go and preview this, you know, this actual page, when people would land on this, let's say they click on it through an email or they click on it through a Facebook ad, you need to have your Facebook pixel on this page. Okay, so how are we gonna do that? We're actually gonna come over here, we're gonna exit this for a second, and we're gonna go back to the funnel settings. What we need to do is actually come over here to funnel settings, and we're gonna take a look at a section that's gonna allow us to place code on every single portion of the funnel, every single step. And it's right over here, I have some other stuff in here because I have my uh, Google Analytics code as well. But you see body tracking code, and you see head tracking code, okay? In the head tracking code over here, and I just kind of stretch this out so there's a little bit more room, all you're gonna do is simply paste in your base pixel code. Okay, remember over here I told you this is your base pixel code. This needs to go on every page. So we're gonna place this over here. I'm literally gonna paste it in. Okay, it's simple as that. And you might have nothing in it before. Uh, again, I have my uh, Google Tag Manager in there. Yours just might be blank. Doesn't matter, you still just paste in your Facebook pixel code. Okay, you see over here it says funnel wide tracking code for the head tag. That means it's gonna be placed on every single page. And this is your base pixel, okay? It just says page view. <clears throat> so it's not going to do any type of purchase tracking or add to cart. It's just gonna simply track for page view. This is why this needs to be on every single page. Okay, so all you need to do is scroll down here, save and update settings. And now the pixel is actually gonna be on this page. If we were to go ahead and open this page, and if we were to preview it, the actual pixel would be ready to go on this page. So in fact, it's on every single page in the funnel. Okay, but this is just the first step. Because now what we want to do is we're going to exit again and we want to talk about what's inside the funnel because that's going to decide what type of code we need to add for the snippets, right? You know that there are different snippets of code, what they call it, uh, um, events, right? There's going to, uh, there should be a thing over here, right? Add the events you want to track, okay? So view content, this is basically just a visit to the page, right? Obviously that counts for every page, but how about things like this? Add to cart, right? If you're from Shopify, you know add to cart is a super important metric that we need to be tracking. 
obviously purchase as well, right? So these types of events, if I click into add to cart, you're gonna see there's options for each of them and there's code. And this is just the simplest version of it. I'm gonna show you just the simplest version over here. Um, if you wanna assign a value to anything, let's say uh, for some reason you assign a dollar value per add to cart for your own tracking, you can go in and do this. Put in a dollar, you see the code updates, but I'm not gonna worry about any of that. I'm just gonna have the base code. Okay, so <clears throat> we have our base pixel code. Now we have our base event code. And this is gonna depend on what page we wanna install on the funnel. And if you look at our step two over here, step one was obviously just the product. Step two, if we take a look at this, this is our purchase page. I'm sorry, yeah, this is our, our uh, basically our checkout page, our add to cart page. Um, you, you could also call it initiate checkout. It doesn't matter, whatever you wanna call this page, right? And I have my little custom countdown timer in here that I added in, you know, and again, this is part of the, the one.justinsener.com funnel. So you can get this for free. But this is the add to cart page. We wanna have the add to cart code on this page. So what do we do? Well, we just have to copy this snippet, okay? Now we're gonna come back into our editor. And remember in our settings, we already put the base code. So the base code is on every page. And the way that this pixel works or these events work is you need to add this code, right? You add it into the same page that has your base code. And whatever has this snippet will get this action. So obviously this add to cart action, we're not gonna add it to this page, right? It would not make sense to add the add to cart action on this page. It absolutely makes sense to add it to this page. This is our add to cart or our checkout page. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in and we're gonna edit it. We're gonna go to settings and tracking code, okay? And I just have a little bit of a, a kind of a hint there. I put this in myself to help you guys out, but you just have to paste in your event code. Okay, that's it. This is the add to cart page. It's tracking add to cart. Now it's also gonna track view content. Why? Because we have the base pixel on this page as well. Okay, so we'll close this out, save that. Okay, and let's continue on. So we have another page uh, coming on our funnel and this is the upsell. And uh, you know, we have a couple of upsells. We have, one, uh, we have an order confirmation page over here. We have a bunch of different options over here. Okay, now upsell, there isn't necessarily an event. Um, you know, you could pick any event that you want for, uh, for the upsell, for example, initiate checkout or add payment info uh, or complete registration, or you could even build a custom conversion. I'm not gonna cover that in that video, but really all you wanna do is just be able to track that people did visit that page. You could even just use a, a view content, but what's really important, what you must have is this one right here, purchase. Okay, we need to have the purchase code and you see here's the base snippet again, purchase. We wanna bring this onto of course, our order confirmation page. We wanna fire this purchase event when someone purchases our product. When, what page do people land on after they purchase the product? Well, obviously the order confirmation page. So this is what it looks like inside of my free funnel. What we need to do is have our pixel code added in there. And we don't need to add the base code because we already have that. What we need to add is our base event code, which is purchase. Okay, and you're gonna come over here. Okay, uh, enter that should just say Facebook pixel purchase event. And we have that in here as purchase. Now, most of you are gonna to want to track your order value. If you just have like a one product funnel where there's only one pr uh, price, what you wanna do is $24.99, come over here in the little builder, put in $24.99, put in US dollars. You can copy this now. We're gonna come back over here and we're just simply going to paste in the new version, okay? It still has the track purchase. It just has a little bit of extra parameter, $24.99 USD, okay? If you have multiple uh, variations, multiple variants, different pricing, there is some advanced code that you can find to kind of add in here and automatically find that, but you know, just don't worry about that. Make sure you get purchase tracking set up. That's the most important thing. So you wanna have your, uh, your purchase tracking set up on the thank you page, your base uh, pixel set up on every page, your add to cart um, on your checkout page, and uh, then you could set up really anything else you want in terms of tracking your upsells. But really the most important are those three things that I mentioned there. So, um, you know, a little bit, uh, you know, code intensive just in terms of looking at the code and copying and pasting, but you don't need to know code to do this. Um, but I wouldn't even consider running any traffic to any of my funnels if I didn't have my Facebook pixel fully installed. So make sure you get that done. Hopefully this video helps you out. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in my free group and I'll have some more uh, videos about ClickFunnels and e-commerce coming up soon for you. So I hope that helps you out and I'll talk to you real soon.